Hi everyone, today we will teach you about a concept, a word that is very important for Norwegians. We will take you on a journey into this word and this word puts a smile on each Norwegian face. So you have to know it and the word is called Sweden! <laughs> Okay, so this is Sweden. It's not a country. It is a place, but it's really not a place. It is a beach, and yes, beach, that's a really important feature to make it called Sweden. We need beach, we need warm sea, we need some parasols, we need some uh, sunbathing stuff. Okay, so if you take the earth and we say Norway is here and then Europe is around here and then we have Africa here. <coughs> Sweden could actually be here, south of uh, Europe. It could be in Central America, it could be like Mexico. It could be over here on an island on Thailand, <laughs> on an island on Thailand, or it could even be in Africa down here. But even though Sweden means the south, it will never be down here in the South Pole. Because no, 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 that is not Sweden. So the south thing is not so important. We leave the cold winter, the, the snow, <laughs> the darkness, the, the fucking everything that we have in Norway during winter. And we get to Sweden and we get ecstatic. If you haven't seen Norwegians happy, and <laughs> you probably haven't if you have only been in Norway, you have to meet Norwegian in Sweden. Because here, it's party all the time! Uh, I think I need an umbrella drink too to make it Sweden, and we have to check the price level. Because that has also something to do with Sweden. And of course, uh, it's not Sweden if the temperature in the water is not, let's say, above 22 Celsius degrees. Because if it's under, it's Norway. When Norwegians are in Sweden, we brag about the temperature in the air. We brag about the temperature in the water. And we brag about the prices. Uh, food and drinks in Sweden is also very important. Actually, food not so important because we don't trust the locals, so we don't eat local food. Uh, we end up eating spaghetti bolognese or hamburgers, but the drinks are important. Uh, waiter, please, please, do you have the menu? Yeah. Uh, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so can I have a drink? Uh, I will have. Uh, do you have sangria? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, of course, because sangria is the typical Sweden drink. So I will have a sangria, please. Thanks. If it's not half the price level in Norway, it's not Sweden. It's like Norway. So it has to be cheap to be called Sweden. Look! Look! You can have. Uh, uh, what can you say? You can have cheese and ham for 260. It's like 26 Norwegian kroners. In Norway, you had to pay 5 euros, 6 euros for the same. I'm very happy. It says the price is at, oh, here's my drink. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not a sang. Is this a sangria? No, no, no. No, you have to make it more fun, more party, more. Fiesta, please go back with it and make it more fun. More fiesta. A drink is not a drink in Sweden. A drink in Sweden is like 
it should be pimped up it should be umbrellas it be, should be stuff in it it should be like vibrating it should be like music in it and of course it should be like sangria but the sangria that he gave to me uh, that was shitty so i think i need another sangria ah look uh, thank you oh it's a party we are in sweden it's gonna be a party tonight yeah it's gonna be a party tonight it's sweden hello hello The alcohol is so cheap, so Norwegian, when we are in Sweden, we end up being alcoholics. Drinking all day long, all the night too. Drinking even in the morning and the night too. Uh, when we are in Sweden, uh, a train to the beach like this, well, that's everything we need for a cultural experience in Sweden. And uh, we will probably take uh, hundreds of photos fro from a train like that and post it on social media and say, isn't this lovely, isn't this authentic, isn't this a culture? Well. And the most cultural experience we have in Norway is to buy a magnetic stuff for our freezer. And when we have done that, we feel that we are so cultural, we understand the local people, we know everything about their uh, culture, their norms, their morals, from just buying one <laughs> magnetic thing for the freezer. We took it again. No, 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 Actually, when Norwegians are in Sweden, the one thing that is important is to never get sunburnt. So, protection is really essential. But you know what? The Norwegian don't trust the local when it comes to protection so of course we always have our own sunscreen and we pack up we buy one two three or four sunscreens from norway when we go to sweden because you cannot trust the locals according to norwegians please Mats, can i have a cigarette i need a cigarette please Mats, give me a cigarette give me a cigarette give me a cigarette no 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 you know what uh, if you are a foreigner going to Norway, visiting Norway, you will experience that the Norwegians are very anti-smoking, anti-cigarettes. People, they don't smoke. They say, no, 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 it's not good for your health. It's not good for anything. But when we arrive at Sweden, well, it's not one, it's not two, but hey, it's hey. at least three cigarettes hey. all down. Mm. Because there's no Sweden without a good Sweden fag. Or two. Mats, uh, hard and tip. Do you have another more? One yes. more? Uh, Mats, you know I really don't smoke, but I, I need another more, please. Don't, don't you have one more? Can't you buy your own cigarettes? No, please, don't you have one more? The first days in, in uh, Sweden, oh, no, not the first days, the first hours. <laughs> we pretend that we don't smoke, but give us some hours, give us a sangria. And we really do smoke. No, I have two more. Huh? This is... Uh, they don't give us cigarettes in Sweden. Uh, uh, for 90... It's gonna... It's terrible. In Sweden you don't get... Okay, no. Uh, uh, 
I need cigarettes. Oh, I'm feeling it. Ah, Sydney is supposed to be lovely, not this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hi. Please give it to me. Oh, come on, come on, come on. But you don't uh, smoke. I don't smoke. Stop. Stop feeling. I don't smoke. I'm in Sweden. I'm not, I don't smoke. Please. I don't smoke. It's not smoking. It's holiday. It's vacation. <coughs> of course, uh, when Norwegians are in Sweden, we learn the local language. Of course, we are. I mean, we are not idiots. Hey, uh, waiter, please, 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 uh, can I have a cerveza? Because uh, cerveza, of course, it, we understand the word beer. Cerveza is very important to us. Is your cerveza? No, 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 no. <laughs> he doesn't understand. Cerveza, fast favor. Cerveza? No, no, <laughs> he brings me a bottle. <laughs> He, I mean, they really don't understand. Uh, uh, no, uh, cerveza, uh, cerveza grande. This, I mean, what is this? A tiny bottle? No, no, no. In Sweden, the locals are very simple. <laughs> they, uh, well, they should have gone to more universities. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. Ah, cerveza. Uh, what? When, when você pede cerveja grande, é caneca. Caneca. Cerveja servida no grande, caneca. Cerveja. Não é cerveja. Não é cerveja. <laughs> cerveja. Não é cerveja. <laughs> uh, and we, of course, we don't trust the locals. They felt uh, some education, but uh, cerveja is good for us. Scold us. So we can be quite rude. Rude? No, no, no. He was rude. I mean, I have learned his language. I have tried to understand his rules, to understand who he is. And then he gives me the speech. I mean, <laughs> no, no, of course. Oh, each time when we are in uh, Sweden, the locals, uh, we, we are not too be occupied with them. No, 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 no. But we are very occupied with the USA. And you know the price? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's Im you can't imagine how cheap it is. Yes. Of course we can be a bit rude. Norwegians are very rude when they go to Sweden, I'm sorry. Uh, tudo bem se eu deixar aqui a conta? Uh, what? A conta. A what? Conta, conta? Uh, sim, sim, a conta. What? É aqui, é como nós chamamos em, em português. Uh, uh, the bill. Ah, the, the bill! Oh, look at the bill! I mean, it's only 14 euros for two sangrias and two beers. In Norway, it would have been 140 euros. Yeah, I will pay. Take everything. Mucho gracias. Yeah, mucho gracias. I don't care about the bill or the tip. We, kn you know what? In Norway, we call the local currencies "gärningar" or lo the crazy ones. So I just gave him some crazy ones. It's so cheap. <laughs> Skoda. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing with Sweden is that you get a cup like that, you can do this, and you can take it with you. Ha 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 ha, that's Sweden for you. Because we are in Sweden, in Sweden, in Sweden. Okay guys, this was our Sweden video, the concept, the place, the word that puts a smile on our face. If you like what you see, subscribe, post us your comment, your story. We love to read it, we love to answer you. And if you want more, check out our Facebook page 
for next program. See you. Skol. Cheers. Salud. Doo doo.